Actually, last time I was in L.A., actually in Orange County, I was making my way through Mexico. I was down there doing a, um, a speech down in Mexico. And um, I don't know if you realize this, but you know, the Mexican people have adopted the Dodgers as a national team, you know, because of the great Fernando Valenzuela. You remember Fernando, of course? And, um, and uh, because of the proximity to L.A., so you got the Dodgers as a team down there. So as you wait for your plane, and I was waiting there for a long time, you get to listen to the Dodger broadcast, of course. It's in Spanish, but they got a guy down there I don't know if you heard of this guy. They call him the Mexican Vin Scully. Have you heard of this guy? He sounds just like Scully, only in Spanish. I'm waiting there. I can't believe it. It's like, El Lanzador Maravilloso, Clayton Kershaw. Abieni la bola pujo, saca fao. So anyway, thank you for having me here. Uh, you can commonly refer to me now as Lauren's dad. I guess uh, that's what I've been hearing a lot about. Uh, but a couple, three things I like to talk about today, folks. Number one, I want to talk about impact and the amount of impact that we have on each other. You know, had it not been for that kind of an impact for me, at the age of 23 years old, my career would have been over in front of a national audience, humiliated. So I want to share with you what that impact meant to me. And secondly, I want to talk about culture. And then this is great right here when you talk about the transparency and the respect and that scrappy nature. You certainly hear that a lot in sports. I want to talk about that, but there's also another engine that really fuels that on as well. And I want to talk about that component. And then I want to talk about intentionality and how we really need to raise the bar of expectancy with people to make that magic happen when that entrepreneurial spirit comes out. So those are the three areas I'd like to talk about today. And uh, actually, later on, I'm going to have some information out here. If you want to get a hold of me, you can see me at stevesackspeaks.com. Um, also, I'm like, I have a coaching and uh, life coaching business at stevesackscoaches.com. But if you want to get involved in my foundation, which I just launched last month, this is an online mentor coaching with kids all over the country. And we're going to be able to send a lot of these kids to college. You can see that at stevesacksfoundation.org. OK? So with that commercial out of the way, let's talk about a few things. OK. Folks, what I'd like to do is I'd like to familiarize you a little bit with how this all happened for me. And um, the truth of the matter is I really don't know where it, ha where it came from. I just had this big dream when I was five years old to become a Major League Baseball player. Nothing else I wanted to do but play Major League Baseball. My brother had the same dream. But my brother and I had these uh, dreams and we were watching the game of the week and I remember watching the game of the week with my dad there, giant Dodger rivalry. I mean, this was just great. You know, I remember it was 1968. I can remember the year and I'm watching the game and I told my dad, I said, you know what? Dad, if the Dodgers ever took me on to play for them, if I ever got drafted by the Dodgers, I wouldn't play for the Dodgers for a million dollars. That was Stephen Sachs circa 1968, right? And then 10 years later, when I graduated from high school and they drafted me, it took $985,000 less for me to sign with the Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> if you look at all the leaders in the world, all the way back, I mean, you talk about one of your brethren, if you will, and Henry, Henry Ford. Here's a guy who had no education at all. Not much of one, but he had a huge dream to become a great inventor, and he certainly was. I mean, you go back further than that in the 15th and 16th century, and the great astronomer Copernicus wanted to show us a multiplicity of worlds and that the universe was built on a heliocentric system and not where the sun is in the center, but not the earth. People thought this guy was a nut when he went through this. But he had a big dream and a big passion to express himself, and he certainly did. In the inertia of your life, you are the unbalanced force. Because I think what you got to think about is what's your why. What was your why and why you want to do something? Well, let me tell you this. If your why in your business is big enough, your how-to doesn't matter. I was teammates with Michael Jordan. No, I wasn't a basketball player. But remember when Michael Jordan tried to play baseball? Remember that? He was a really good basketball player. Um, no, 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 I loved him. I, loved, I was a member of the White Sox, and Michael Jordan came over to the team, and he was going to play baseball. OK, so he um, comes over, loved him. Tremendous guy, work ethic, fantastic. Humility, everything, you got it. I mean, no wonder he's such an icon. But Michael Jordan sitting on the bus with him, I had a month and a half in spring training with him, a month and a half during the season in Birmingham, Alabama, because I had a bad foot, and I had to go down and get some reps, so I got to play on the team with Michael Jordan. Sitting on the bus with this guy, man, he said, hey, if, it, if I hadn't have got cut from my high school basketball team, which he did, or had it been, not been for the times where I had the game when he shot in the palm of my hand as a member of the Bulls, and I shot, and we lost, which he did, he said, I never would have been as successful as I am. 